Do you want to learn how to save money and live a more sustainable lifestyle? Welcome to a journey back in time to the 1950s era, a period known for its simplicity, sustainability and frugality. A time when our grandparents knew how to stretch a dollar, reduce waste and live within their means. This wisdom, though old, is still gold and can guide us towards a more conscious lifestyle. So buckle up folks, get ready to dive into the past and learn from our grandparents' wisdom. The first tip from the 1950s is embracing home cooking. This doesn't mean you need to be a gourmet chef, but preparing meals at home can save you a substantial amount of money compared to eating out. It also allows you to control your ingredients, leading to healthier options. The second tip is practicing mending and repairing. In the 1950s, if something broke, it was fixed, not replaced. This is not only a great way to save money, but it also reduces waste, contributing to a more sustainable lifestyle. Next, we have adopting a minimalist wardrobe. The idea here is to invest in a few quality pieces that are versatile and can be mixed and matched, rather than constantly buying new clothes. This reduces clutter and saves you money in the long run. Our fourth tip is shopping secondhand. This was a common practice in the 1950s and it's making a comeback. You can find high quality items at a fraction of the price and it's an excellent way to reduce waste and support sustainability. Lastly, we have growing your own food. This may not be possible for everyone, but even a small herb garden can save you money and provide you with fresh organic produce. These tips not only save money but also bring a sense of fulfillment and independence. Moving on to the next set of tips from the bygone era. Tip 6 underlines the art of entertaining at home. Instead of dining out or going to expensive clubs, try hosting game nights, potlucks or movie marathons at home. It's not only cost effective but also fosters stronger relationships. Next, tip 7 encourages engaging in simple hobbies. Instead of pricey pastimes, consider hobbies like gardening, reading or knitting that are both affordable and fulfilling. Tip 8 emphasizes conserving energy. Little things such as switching off lights when not in use or using natural light during the day can significantly reduce your energy bill while conserving the environment. Tip 9 is all about adopting a make-do-and-mend mindset. Instead of buying new items, try to repair, reuse or repurpose what you already have. It's a great way to save money and reduce waste. Finally, Tip 10 advocates for prioritizing saving and living within one's means. By setting aside a portion of your income regularly, you can secure your financial future without compromising your present needs. By adopting these tips, you can lead a more fulfilling and sustainable life just like our grandparents did in the 1950s. So, these were the 10 frugal living tips from the 1950s. Let's take a quick recap. From embracing home cooking to conserving energy, these tips are not just about saving money, but also reducing waste and leading a sustainable lifestyle. They underline the value of a minimalist wardrobe, the charm of second-hand shopping and the joy of simple hobbies. Let's take Paula as an example, who implemented these tips and found not just financial stability, but also a sense of fulfillment. If you found these tips helpful and want more advice on living a frugal, sustainable lifestyle, please subscribe to our channel. Remember, every small step towards sustainability counts.